It wasn't your typical school day for these Baltimore City students. Do you guys have a roller? They stepped out of the classrooms, paint brushes in hand. Vacant row homes, their canvas. We're painting the band in houses. Why? Because they do not look good. What are you going to paint a picture of? The idea for this community service project started in Miss Kathleen Sayers' kindergarten class. She asked what improvements they wanted to see in their neighborhood. They wanted to fix up the houses so that homeless people could live there. They did their research, and that just wasn't feasible. So they decided to beautify them instead. We want to help other people live in abandoned houses and make them pretty. Soon, kids from all grades at Marianne Winterling Elementary School wanted to join in. Because we want to make everybody smile. We want to make people um, happy and um, have houses. With the help of other teachers, volunteers, and Councilman John Bullock, they made their mark. Good work, Zayden. These kids prove you don't have to have a lot of experience to make a difference. Clearly, we have a lot of challenges in the city, not only this environment, but also the political environment that's uh, that's occurring right now. But again, they are really the future of, of the city. Things like this really empower them to realize that even though they're small, they can make a difference. And as they get older to realize, you know, if I see something in my community or in my city that isn't going the way I want it to, do, to be, then I can do something to change that. Not only did the kids do the heavy lifting today, but the kindergartners actually wrote letters and interview questions for the councilman and another city leader while they were trying to decide what project they would undertake and what might be feasible. Then they also wrote letters asking for paint supply donations and did calculations to find out how many vacant homes were in their area. <laughs> that's the future right there. That is, that's the story we needed today.